Okay, in this problem we have a power station and there's a square region that's 10 miles on each side. So each of these sides is equal to 10 and a power station is somewhere on this boundary. It could be here, it could be here, it could be right on the corner, we don't know. Now, the question is saying there are three substations and they're located actually inside the square. And we want to know, well, I'll draw a substation. It could be one here, it could be one here, it could be one. And we want to know is the sum of the, these distances, that is the distance from the power station to the substation, is the sum of these distances 30 less than 30 greater than 30. So you can see that we have a lot of latitude here. We can move around a lot. We can say, oh, they're really, really close by, so they would be much less than 30. And then once you figure out, okay, so I've come up with a situation in which the answer is B, that is quantity A is less than 30. Then as soon as you do that, so here's B, you've come up with an instance where the answer is B, you want to try to disprove that. Can you make it so that either it's 30 or greater than 30? Because if once you do that, then you know that the answer has to be D. If you cannot disprove that the answer is B, then the answer must be B. So let's try to disprove it. So we had them really close, these substations very close to the power station. So let, let's try to make them as far as possible. Think in the extremes. Where can we put them? Well, we could put them all the way over here. Now the question is, well, why not over here? Isn't that farther away? Remember, when you have a figure, especially a square, the longest distance is the hypotenuse of these two triangles. Notice how they split up the square into two even parts. The farthest distance is this hypotenuse, which forms two 45, 45, 90 triangles. Next question becomes, well, how, how far are we away here? We know here we would be away 10, but here we are away farther than that. And because these are two isosceles triangles, we have the usual xx, x root 2. x in this case would be 10, the side of the square, and 10 root 2 would be equal to approximately 14. And it's good to know that the square root of 2 is 1.4. It's, it's not exactly 1.4, but that's close enough. Uh, knowing that can definitely help you in certain problems such as this one. So we can say, well, if this extreme corner here is 14 away from this corner, then this could be maybe 13, 13.5. It doesn't really matter because you know if you have three of them and they're 13 away or even 12, it's going to be far greater than 30. So you now have a situation where A can be bigger because both A and B can't be the answers, therefore the answer must be 